YouTube, YouTube, it's your boy Yanni back at you with another video. Today we're gonna be doing a ball taper. If you guys stay tuned to the end, hopefully you'll learn something and you get to see some of that pressure. Let's not waste no time, let's jump right into it. All right guys, first step is we're gonna come in with our number one guard all the way closed and we're gonna knock down this hair to our desired length. We are going with the grain all the way around leaving some of the hair on the crown to come behind that with the one open and yes guys here i am using the wall cordless seniors and i am using the filthy blends mod that allows me to put an andis blade on a wall clipper and i am using the andis precision blade or a fade blade also with the andis double magnetic guards so if you guys want your own pair of the filthy blend modification for your clipper i will leave the link in the description down below if you want to get your own pair all right guys now that the hair is down to the desired length and you've knocked everything down making sure to take care of that crown come with a half size bigger than what you did on the rest of the hair on the crown because that lets it all transition very well all right guys to kick off this back taper First step that I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my trimmers. I am using the Babyliss Patty Cuts Edition to set in my bald guideline. As you see, I set it in in a rainbow-like shape. And the reason I set it in in a rainbow-like shape, that's in order to allow myself to have a little bit more hair for the neckline. And to kick this taper off, first step that I'm going to do is I'm going to come in with my clipper all the way open. And I'm setting in my first guy line about a half of an inch of the way up. Once that guy line is set in, next what we're going to do is we're going to come back behind that with our clipper all the way closed. And we're going to attack that bottom line as you see here. Sometimes the clipper all the way closed will not take that line out depending on how harsh you set the line in. And then you might have to use your trimmers that you set it in in order to take that out. So once the line is taken out, we're going to open our clipper halfway, move up on the guy line, open the clipper a little bit more until we meet the top of this guy line. Alright guys, next I'm coming in with my zero guard all the way open and I'm setting in my next guy line about the same size as the last one, about a half of an inch followed by my clipper all the way closed and as you see i'm attacking that line the same way we did the last guy line and as you guys can see my client does have a scar on the back of his head and you will encounter clients that have either scars or indentations whether it be on the side back anywhere around their heads so just treat that area as such stretch the skin use a lower guard use the corner whatever you got to do to make those areas blend into the rest of the haircut. And here guys, you see me using the number one guard closed with the grain to knock down any hair that might have not got cut the first time around. And now I'm coming in with my number one all the way open and I am not really setting in a guy line, but pretty much blending into the top, which is the desired length, as you see here. Remember guys, use your corners as much as possible. When using the whole heel of the blade, you could set yourself up to set in another line and then therefore push in the fade or taper up even higher than what you wanted. As you see here, I am flicking out as I get to the top with my one guard all the way open. Since the top is a number one with the grain, the one open should blend it to the top. And here guys, I am using the Andis half guard 
which is like a little bit different than the zero guard it does come with a zero guard and also if you buy the half guard and the one and a half guard i would say that this half guard that comes with the one and a half guard it's a little bit bigger than the zero guard so it almost cuts to like a one it's almost like a one it cuts a little bit shorter it's like in between a one and that zero guard so i like to use that to blend in between the half guard and that number one and here guys as you see i am using the corners the heel of my blade to blend in that area where he does have the scar as you guys see there so like i said just stretch the skin and treat those areas as such take your time don't rush and everything will come together and here I'm just doing a little bit of detail work and as you can see this taper is coming to life just taking out any imperfections any dark spots anything that I see that could be lightened up could be a little bit better that's where I do it on the detail work process and here to bring everything together I'm coming in with my one guard all the way open and I am flicking out any of the dark spots or imperfections that I see in order to complete this back taper. Alright guys, to kick off the side taper, we're going to follow the same steps. Grab our trimmers, we're going to set in our bald guy line. Then we're going to debulk everything underneath of that guy line. Then we're going to grab our clippers, we're going to come in, same steps, no guard, all the way open. We're going to set in our first guideline. Then we're going to close our clipper. As you see here, we're going to attack that bottom line. Then we're going to open our clipper halfway. Move up halfway on that guideline. Open it one more notch until we meet the top of this guideline. Once that guideline is blended out, we're going to grab our zero guard all the way open. And we're going to set in our next guideline. And we're really not going to set it in that big. I'm setting it in about a quarter of an inch of the way. I'm using the corners. I'm flicking out. I'm trying not to create too much of a harsh guideline. That way it doesn't become that difficult for me to take that out. Once that guideline is set in, I'm going to come in with my zero guard all the way closed. And I'm going to flick that guideline out as you see me doing here. Alright guys, and here I'm coming in with my number one guard all the way open and I'm flicking that hair that meets the top of that wave, the hair that was knocked down to the number one close and that's pretty much going to blend this taper all the way out. Here guys, all I'm doing is making sure that the hair is knocked down as much as possible, laid down as much as possible. So I'm going to brush and cut with the grain with that number one closed, which is our desired length on top, wavelength on top. And you see me here using my corners and blending any dark spots that I see. And here guys, I'm using my zero guard and I'm just flicking out doing detail work and bringing this taper to the next level and that's pretty much it guys that's all you guys need to do just take your time use those corners know your system stay true to your system i never change my system no matter what haircut i'm doing i do adjust depending on the hair type and also the client but pretty much i follow the same steps and i stay true to my system stay true to your system stay true to what works for you and everything will always come together be patient take your time give every haircut 
your absolute best. Don't be a lazy barber, give it your best, and everything will always come together for you. Focus, lock in, get it done. You already know where you at. Don't forget to subscribe, hit like, comment, share on the video, show your boy some love. Just by pressing like, you can help me so much. Help me get my videos on the YouTube algorithm. And here, guys, I'm just going to let you watch this taper come to life. Alright guys, what you see me doing here is I'm coming in with my half guard and I am knocking that hairline down a little bit shorter than the desired length and the reason that I'm doing that is to set myself up for a good lineup. You always knock down the front hairline or anywhere that you're going to shape up in order to allow yourself to get a crispy line. And here I'm applying styling foam in order to lay this hair down that way. I can lay it down, make sure that all the hair is down the way that I need it. This is my secret weapon right here. I'm sharing you guys my secret weapon for the waivers. Hit like on the comment for this secret weapon, guys. Use that styling foam. That styling foam will get you far. Hit it with the blow dryer. Put a little bit of heat. Brush those waves into place. And boy, you're going to see those roach legs. At the end of this haircut, you're going to come and get those roach legs. But before we do that, we're going to grab our spritz. We're going to spray it all around the areas that we're going to do our lineup. And that's to lock this hair in place. That's to set ourselves up to give the best lineups that we can do. We're going to hit it with a little bit of heat. Lock that spritz into place. And let's get to the lineup, baby. We're gonna start this lineup up with the neckline. This is my favorite line to do. It's so satisfying to put this line in. Take your time. Keep it as natural as possible. Keep it as natural as possible. Think about the regrowth. Another barber told me, you know what's the difference between a good haircut and a bad haircut? I said, what? He said, two weeks. Think about that. Think about that. Keep everything as natural as possible. You don't want that regrowth coming back in when that hair grows because your client will notice it. Keep it as natural as possible. Bring this line around the ear and bam, look at that line. All right, guys, we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. Keep it as natural as possible. We're gonna hit this line all the way up to the ear. Once we get to the ear, we're gonna curve it around the ear, keeping it as natural as possible. I'm telling you, you don't want that regrowth. Your clients will see it. And like I said, the difference between a good haircut and a bad haircut is two weeks. I want to give a big shout out to my subscribers, my followers for always being true, believing in your boy. We're on our road to a thousand subscribers. I am going to be doing a giveaway for a thousand subscribers. I will talk more about that on my next video. All you have to do is subscribe to my channel. Subscribe below. Show your boy some love, man. More details on the giveaway on the next video. All right, guys, here I'm using a little bit of 245 no drip enhancing this hairline a little bit as you see he does have a couple light spots We're just bringing this to the next level here I'm using a little bit of topic hair fibers on top of the no drip and this is just going to conceal We're not hiding any mistakes as you see the lineup is already crispy. We're just taking this haircut to the next level We're giving our clients the best that we can do giving every haircut our absolute all treat every haircut as if it's our last haircut that's what i do that's why i set myself apart from everyone else i give every haircut my all even if certain people don't like the haircut as long as i made my client happy i did my job 
but I give this my all. This is my passion. This is what I live for. I want to be the best. I will be the best one day because I strive for it. I believe in it. Believe in yourself. Don't let no one tell you you can't be what you want to be. Give it your all. Here, guys, I'm using my Tune 45 Triple Cartridge Razor, best razor in the game. Shout out to Tune 45 for all their products. Stretching the skin, 45 degree angle, and cut into the line. Take your time, once again, especially with the razor, you don't want to cut nick your client because you're moving too fast. Don't forget to stretch that skin, it helps you. Helps make the blade glide so the blade doesn't snag on the skin. And as you can see, guys, man, this haircut is coming together, man. All I did was took my time, followed my system, stayed true to my system, and I am not being lazy. I'm not missing a hair. I'm giving this my absolute all. Give every haircut your all. I can't say it enough. Your client will appreciate it. And like I said before, guys, we're going to get those roach legs. Here I'm coming in with my Gamma Ergo clipper all the way closed and I'm floating that clipper off the top of the waves knocking down any if not all those roach legs and this does make a huge difference I can't emphasize it enough it makes such a huge difference on the final product when you get those roach legs because you don't see that frizziness sticking out that's why we use that styling foam in order for us to be able get these hairs and look at that taper guys look at that cut that thing is in there in there and to finish this off what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hook up his mustache clean any hair that shouldn't be on his face or any hair that he doesn't want on his face under his neck we're gonna clean his goatee he wants to keep it a little bit long so we're just gonna line up his mustache just keeping everything consistent taking our time treating this as if it's our last cut giving it our absolute all and this is how you make your clients come back guys this is how you do it take your time treat this haircut as if it's the last and trust me they will come back they will always come back and appreciate you i hope you guys learned something from this video i hope you guys enjoyed the content hope you guys enjoyed the cut here's the cut tell me what you guys think tell me in the comment section below don't forget to like comment share show your boy some love hope you guys really enjoyed the video hope you guys like the cut show your boy some constructive criticism anything i could have done better anything that i did that you liked shout out to y'all it's your boy yanni signing out Hey.